Hispanic Heritage Month kicks off next Tuesday, and I thought that we would get an early start this morning by celebrating my own Cuban heritage today. So what I did was I gave the Rodriguez family black beans recipe to Daisy Martinez, host of Viva Daisy on the Food Network. And she kind of, you know, I'm not a professional, so she spiced it up a bit and did her <laughs> thing with it. Thank you so much for doing that, Daisy. It's a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. You know, I'm Rodriguez, too, on my mom's side. Are you really? Well, maybe we're kissing cousins. Who I knows? bet we are. I'm Rodriguez on all sides. Ah. I got like bread, but that's another story. So this recipe that I gave you, right. this is really my mom's, probably her mom's before that. Whenever we get together as a family, we have to have black beans and rice. Of course you Christmas, do. Christmas, Thanksgiving, but even just regular family get-togethers. Absolutely. And I gave you how I make it, which is I start with a sofrito. Right. Your sofrito was a little um, more basic than mine. I really like to punch up the flavors on my sofrito. And I'm, I'm dying for you to taste this because okay. I'm... I, I'm all about the flavor. Why don't we tell people who may not know what a sofrito is? Okay. Sofrito really is the cornerstone of Latin American cooking, Latin cooking. It's a, a, an aromatic puree, and there's like defining points that will tell you where the sofrito is from. Like you were mentioning um, cilantro in, mm -hmm. in, in Cuba. You probably won't, won't find culantro. Have you smelled this? It's amazing. Let me see. Smell this. This is like cilantro times 10 with black pepper. Oh, wow. notes. Isn't that fabulous? Wow. This we love in Puerto Rico. Mm. We use a lot of culantro. We use a basic trinity in our sofrito. Onions, green peppers, and garlic. Okay. All right. And you know, I have a friend, Fabiola, in, in uh, Miami who adds jamón, a nice mm. little piece of smoked ham mm -hmm. to, her, to her sofrito. Okay. So yours has what? Okay. We have onions, garlic, uh, sweet. I know that you use green peppers. Mm -hmm. I'm not crazy about the green pepper thing. I hope the green pepper police isn't out there. Why is this doing this? It's like so, killing me. So what did you use instead? <laughs> I use Cubanelle peppers, green Cubanelle oh, peppers. Nice. Those are sweet, right? They are sweet. They're yeah. beautiful long peppers. Uh, or a red bell pepper works works nice too. Okay. So onion, garlic, sweet peppers, a little touch of tomato, some cilantro. Okay. We okay. don't usually do that, but okay. I'm open. All right. I'm open. And we're gonna try that, right? We're gonna just give that a whirl. And this is what you end up with. Okay, so now this is the base of all of our dishes. You all add of our this dishes. to anything and Beans, everything. Beans, stews, chicken, beef, pork, fish, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Ice cream. No. Right, I'm working on a recipe for that. And we have the beans. I love that you said that you cook, you start your beans out like 45 minutes ahead. And what, when that's happening, Maggie, we want to skim all this muddy stuff that okay. comes to the top. And when I do my beans, I never pre soak my beans. Oh, I do. Who knows? Well, when I have the time. When you have the time. Sometimes from can. one day to yeah, another, yeah, yeah. Things, things change. Yeah, true. But when I put my beans, I put in a couple of bay leaf, and I'll throw in a little smoked ham hock. Remember yes, I said about the ham? Yes. So this way you get that nice smoky, yes. and you get the gelatin from the from the ham hock into the beans, and it gives it a nice, just full mouthfeel. I just, I love it. Sounds good. We're not salting those beans. All right. Because if you salt raw beans, they'll, they'll never, they'll never, they just, right. they don't, they don't get So hot. you leave them for what, like an hour and a half? I leave them an hour and a half, and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do my sofrito. You add I, the sofrito after. Right. I have some olive oil. Okay. And wow, that's really, really hot. Okay, so you brown the sofrito. We want to cook the water out, and right? And then you add it to the beans right. afterwards. Now we have these beans over here we've started. Smells like home. Doesn't it really? I would add some olives to this maybe. Look how gorgeous this looks beautiful, already. Beautiful. And then you serve it over rice. And this is ropa vieja, which is shredded beef. And it is the perfect accompaniment to this meal. With some white rice and green plantains. And we're in Cuba. Oh, I love it. Does Harry approve? See. Si. <laughs> All right, to get my original recipe and the new and improved Daisy recipe, go to earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Our thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back.